Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about what is the difference between the max and the pmax, which stands for parallel max function. So, what is the difference between these two functions? For that, let's have two vectors. We have this v1 and v2 that contain uh, these two vectors that contain certain numbers. Now, if we do max v1, what it would do is it would take this vector and get the maximum value from it which should be 12. so let me execute this and we see that we get 12 over here if i do that for vector 2 we should get 10 because that is the maximum number in this v2 vector similarly we can have minimum values from both these vectors and both these vectors have the minimum value as one but what would uh, pmax do is instead of getting the maximum value from this vector or from this vector or if i were to give them say uh, both these vectors within this uh, this this max function if we give that uh, both these vectors within this max function what it would do is it would get me the maximum number from both of these vectors but what if i wanted to have a parallel max that means uh, i want to compare this value with the first value of the v1 with the first value of the v2 and then i want to get the maximum number then i want to do that process similarly for the second uh, value and the third value and so forth so one one way of doing this is to loop through each of these values and loop are an if inefficient way of performing this uh, the more efficient way of doing is using the pmax so what we do is within pmax we give both these vectors and it would return the vector of the same length so it would compare one uh, the the first value of the v1 vector with the first value of the v2 vector and it returns us the value 2 and then it would do that for the second value the third value and so on and so forth uh, now if we just give them a single vector then it would return that specific vector because that is the maximum value uh, uh, we can similarly do minimum p, p minimum and that would return the minimum value between these two vectors now what if we have a vector of different length and what if we have some missing values within these vectors so this is a vector of the same vector as we had over here uh, but we have shortened the length of v2 and we have all also included a in an a missing value within this v2 so let me redefine v1 and v2 and now if we do p max firstly it would give us a warning um, that we we that the second the, the 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 smaller vector had been recycled that is the that is the by default system of uh, of r that it recycles the 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 smaller vector and at the same time it would give us the na value within because it when it compares the na with some other digit uh, it would return us the na value so what if uh, first of all i wanted to remove the na values so what i do is i use the na dot rm equal to true argument and that would remove the the na values right uh, and it would not take into consideration the na values so I hope that was useful. Uh, do subscribe to this channel and do hit the bell icon.